All right, guys, good morning. We're headed to Daytona International Speedway today for the 24 hours of Daytona. It's a cold day here in St. Augustine. We have a, if I can see how to turn this around, we have a pickup truck here so we can fit in. It's down here in Central Florida, everyone has pickup trucks, so. We wanted to fit in, we're in North Florida. We have our Tacoma for the day. And we're testing out the new camera to see how it works in anticipation of a trip to Thailand. We're ready to go. So we're driving out of the community now, here in Shearwater. Just moved down here a couple of months ago. It's a cold day here. Not usually this cold this time of year, but unseasonably cold, but warmer than it is out. My original home back in New Jersey, there's people at the dog park. A lot of people at the dog park, look at that. People don't drive well. What do you have to say to all 500 of my subscribers? It's cold. I bought it online. I decided at the last minute I want to get a camera for my trip. You should have just got like point and shoot, like small. This is this is better, I think. Oh. I decided at the last minute I wanted to take some video, but the thing is, when you have the the massive mirrorless camera and you start putting it in people's faces in a small village in Thailand, I didn't think they would be too happy with that. We can see Route 95 where people drive like maniacs in Florida. We got about an hour drive. We'll see what's going on down there. It's gonna be chilly. 24 hour race. We'll see what, um, maybe they'll have some historical stuff at the, the Speedway, stuff related to NASCAR. They've had this race for a long time as well. I believe it's one of the big three 24 hour races with Le Mans being one, and Daytona, and there's maybe Sebring as well in Florida. Pershing Daytona. Not sure how many people are gonna be there. We'll see if it's crowded. Down here, it's it's all about NASCAR, I think. So, I think the Daytona 500s in a couple Keep weeks. Right. To continue it'll on probably be more crowded for that. So, we're trying to see like what kind of fans will be here. Will it be primarily fans of like NASCAR? Is it going to be more like open wheel racing fans, like fans of IndyCar or Formula One? It seems like the driver lineup is pretty Keep mixed. The the There's some former Formula One drivers. I know Colton Herta or Herta from IndyCar, who a lot of people think may be the next American in Formula One. Continue for half a mile. He'd be the first uh, since Alexander Rossi, I think, in 2006. To He's gonna be racing on one of the teams in the LMP1 class, I think. There's the LMP1, LMP2, LMP3, and GT, are the four that I'm aware of. There might be another one as well, but the LMP cars are, I think it stands for Le Mans prototype series cars, so. You've seen what those look like. They're the really aerodynamic ones with the big gull wing doors. So I'm not really sure what the difference between the three different classes are. I'm assuming the LMP1 cars are the fastest. So I think he's in that class. And then you have uh, former NASCAR drivers as well, like Jimmy Johnson will be here. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, we're approaching the speedway now. It's about one mile ahead. It looks like we're gonna hit a little bit of traffic. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where to park. Apparently the parking is free. Slight correction on what I said as well. The top class of endurance racing is no longer called LMP1. Apparently it's now called the Hypercar Series. The LMP1 car naming convention was retired at the end of the 2020 season. I just looked that up on my phone. I'm not sure if they're different or if it's pretty much the same cars and they've just renamed the the top class but apparently they're faster than formula one cars they accelerate from zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds which is pretty much as fast as a car can go and yeah all the parking here is is free allegedly that's what it says online and we're just trying to see where we can go i would imagine that you wouldn't be able to park right in front of the place but 
Maybe. You have to pay to park there. So you might have to pay to park at some, some places. Yeah, there's the track there. You can almost see the bank turns. There's people walking across the street. I don't know if they parked over there. It says we've arrived. Found the parking finally. We're walking in. Not too far. Free parking. That's good. Well, some of it was free. We didn't prepay for the parking right in front of the the track, so we just had to park a little bit across the street. What? The M4. A lot of nice cars. We've seen a lot of Porsche 911s, a couple old ones. The Porsche fans are coming to watch their Porsches race in the race. Let's see the uh, the track over there. There it is. Yeah, you can. Race starts in about an hour and 20 minutes, 1.40 p.m. Then it goes to 1.40 p.m tomorrow so today's Saturday we're just gonna stay until the evening we're not gonna go two days we're flying back to New Jersey tomorrow in the afternoon so we may watch the end on on TV but I don't think it's necessarily one of the races where you're gonna be watching the race the entire time I think after 24 hours it could get kind of boring but there's a lot of other activities and events that they have they have a historical center here we'll probably check out that as well but um one other thing is I noticed no one's sitting up in the bleachers, so we're not really sure. We have general admission tickets, but I'm not sure where where we'll go to watch the race. I guess we'll see. But um, it's exciting. Our first time here at the track. Hey, Sunoco Gate. Thank you for joining us at Daytona International Speedway for today. Alright, we made it in. It's chilly. You got the hat on. You don't have your hat on. Yes, I you do. <laughs> Going up the escalator. It's pretty massive. Whew. I think we're going to be cold after we're here for a little while. Big escalator. Have you seen that video where the escalator malfunctions and the people are like falling on top of each other? It's scary. I've seen that. People uh, fall on the escalator in the, in the airport because they, they're stupid. Just because, not they because the escalator is malfunctioning? No, they can't get off fast enough and then people keep on coming behind them and they, yeah. they start banging into each other. Like, oh, you can take that off. Well, well, I don't like the people um, that stand on the station or the escalators that are flat, whatever you call, what do you call those things? The people movers, they stand oh, on them. Cold road, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Woo! That's why I like the way it stands. Yeah, the higher you go up, the colder it is. Woo! It's really cold. Yeah. So <laughs> Alright, let's see. What do you want to stay up here? These things blast heat out? I hope so. Do they? Are they warm or no? It's cold. Looks like we can stand in and stand. That's cool. Oh, it's freezing. Look at all the people. No. Could you go down there, I guess? I think so. There's way too many people down there for that to all be the staff that works on the teams. It's windy. Once again, the Gainesville High School Band. This part of the track, I don't even know if they do. Ah, uh, they. It seems like more people are down there. I'm not sure. The infield's over there, where they have the turns and stuff. I think they do come around this way. There's a lot of people down in the infield. What's that? I think that's a pit. 
that's the pits right there. Yeah, look at all the flags for the different countries that are represented. There's a ton of people out there. It'd be cool to see them. So you can go down to the infield, but there's tons of people down there, and it looks like people are starting to come up as well because the race is going to start in about an hour. We're going to take a picture. Let's see. So many people, it's crazy. Everyone's out on the track. It's cool. So you see all the flags down there as well for all the different countries that are represented. I did see them. There they are down there. Let's see. We got it. All right. Sweden, Brazil. Sweden, Brazil, the US. I see Ecuador or Colombia. This is how you get down there. Everyone's coming up now, though. Race is starting in about an hour. I would say we should go down a little bit more because I think we'll be able to see the turns over there, you know? I think that would be good. This is a pit. The cars come out. They 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 go around the entire track. I think. Yeah, they come here. Sure. Yeah. They they do. They um, but they they cut in over there into where the turns are. It doesn't. No. I'm surprised the track's not more wide. Honestly. This is still banked here. This is banked a lot. Yeah. That's cool, you can go out to the, see the cars right before they start. Cool to watch the pits too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So many flags. It's Japanese flag, Portugal, Canada, Denmark. Kevin Magnuson's here from Denmark, Formula One. So we found our seats. I don't know if you guys can hear me because the speakers behind us is really loud. But um, everyone's coming up from the track now. One the more car to show you, you actually could have out there to look at the cars. This track. When you get you in look line, out you're here. going to be watching for this number two. KCMG, Over on the right. Porsche 911 GT3 That's where they turn R. and go around Aaron the infield. Patrick Pile, they go like that. Dennis Olsen and Alexander All the way around the track, so are going to be racing we're getting high speeds right there. Going to be driving from There's the, the cars out there now. Everyone's Dennis starting to make their way out Patrick into France, the seats. So. Lawrence Ventura is from Belgium, and this team is making their Rolex 24 debut. It's actually their first race in the States in 2009. It was good to so be able to find our seats. Everyone's trying to find one right now. This is a good spot because racing. this team, you can see the I gotta tell you, these guys there, are standing for a moment. But also, like, the turn and they will they go be patiently the waiting field. in their pits. And uh, nobody will overheat in the cockpit. So, <laughs> it's going to be great. When it comes to this race and all that it takes to prepare, and as many successes you've had, three times Sebring 12 hour winner, in addition to racing here multiple times in different categories, you mentioned your fond memories of the Ferrari and racing with Jackie Dix here. What comes falling back when you pull in the gates here, Mario? Well, you know what, uh, I think physical condition is everything. And, uh, you know, as a driver, you're expected to perform just as well uh, on the 23rd of the 24 hours as you are at the beginning. So. It's up to you to get it done properly, and uh, that's part of the challenge. That's part of what's making these 24 hours so special. And there are not so many, you know, it's uh, this and Le Mans at the top level. You know, but uh, again, for some of the new drivers, young drivers, I think it's going to be a bit of an eye-opener. But uh, again, they all know what they need to do. And, but uh, course, it's, a, yeah. it's a tasking event, no question, for the drivers. Great to see you back. Welcome back. Michael's back with your great nephew, Jared, driving. So, again, the Andretti tradition continues. Maybe we'll see you in a couple of hours over there eventually in celebrating with that family team. That'd be great. Yeah, you bet. I'm looking forward to that for sure. They're on the LMP3 pole with Andretti Autosport here. How about I say it for Mario Andretti joining us today? From the mountain to the prairie to the
Alex on his left hand side for the cross it was always going to close very very interesting so this is the final That's the uh, blue uh, and dark blue prototype Jeremy Shaw uh, refers to the RFID uh, Michelin reader there. Yeah, that would not be a good start to the race to take out the system. Uh, I, I, I did from everybody before that, but the car. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, thank you. Uh, Alright, the cars are out for assuming that's the formation lab. The, the pit lane speed limit at the end, and surely I'm the, yeah, and it's a very tricky corner right here. Traffic jam in the 
the exit lane because the big exit lane was to red, so they would leave. leave. And so now everybody is in a very close area, very close contact yeah. as they go out through the RFID reader and back onto the track. So tight here, only 20 feet for each of the pit boxes uh, this weekend with the full complement of 19. Uh, of of uh, 64 oh. cars in this pit stop. The They're Kenny racing out the pit. One, Mercedes also entering a close because it was 362 that I saw it broiled there. And the problem with that, Jeremy, is that Ipsa have designed the pit boxes so that in full course yellows, it's normal. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, it's a GT <laughs> car. They don't know what's going on. It's a great up again but I'm not sure if the cars that are like a lap down have to can like on lap themselves or if they have to just continue with where they are so it's probably easier to watch on the TV because you can kind of get a sense of what's going on with regards to the positioning and the cars are going by so fast as well it's hard to uh, it's hard to see the numbers but <laughs> it's fun anyway it's definitely an event we're gonna try to stay here until like the evening time there's actually a a SpaceX launch that's taking place at Cape Canaveral, which is like maybe 60 or 70 miles from here. So if you look out on the south side of the track, we're actually going to be able to see the launch. It's happening at 6.11, which is like 10 hours after sunset. So we're definitely going to stay at least until then. And it would be cool to see a little bit of the night racing as well, because they go obviously well into the night, into tomorrow morning as well. We could take a look out here as well. This is like the entrance. There's a decent amount of people here. There's a bunch of stuff over there. But, yeah, there's a decent amount of people here, honestly. They're pretty spaced out. I think the, the stadium or the, the track, the bleachers can probably hold, I would say, 150,000, 200,000 people. There's maybe 20, 30,000, and it looks like there was just a crash looking on the TV now and showing that. What's going on? They make contact. Oh yeah, one of the cars just spun out, the other one crashed into it. So, a lot of activity going on there, but we're going to, um, we're gonna get some like late lunch, early dinner in about maybe like 45 minutes just to get warm, because it's like freezing. Uh, but apparently that's good for the cars as well, because they, they can get the cool air to intake so they're not overheating. So very important in endurance racing to keep the engines cool over such a long period of time, but I don't even remember where I was sitting, to be honest. I'm gonna walk you guys back out, so you can see. I haven't had a chance to go around the track too much or look at any of the, they have a museum here as well, looking at some of the racing history. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we? Don't remember, honestly. I think we're in this one. You can walk out. I forget where I was paying attention, but we can take a look out on the track. Ooh, it's cold. I 
need my mask too. My mask honestly keeps me warm. Just need it on a day like this. Let's see. So we decided to walk out. It was getting too cold in there. I picked up a brochure about the event and we finally can see the different cars that they have. Here, I'll show you guys. So we have the DPI, which is the top end, LMP2, LMP3, GTD Pro, and GTD. So what is that, five different ones? But we're walking over now to potentially go to the Motorsports Hall of Fame, it says there. We're not sure if it's free or not, but it's, it's indoors, so it's going to be warm. And we're going to go eat food, watch some of the cars in the nighttime, and maybe if not too long, it's getting pretty cold. We're going to see a rocket launch as well over uh, Cape Canaveral off in the distance, so we'll see what that looks like. This place is open, it's uh, 3.30 now. Oh, I'm walking on top of people's hands right now as well. Who's here? Some hands of famous people. Oh yeah. It's the NASCAR Walk of Fame. That is what it's called. <laughs> Interesting. Here we are. Is this where you go in? Open nine to five. Let's see. Do, do, do. There's a tunnel here. Taste of 24. Ticket office. Choo, choo, choo. It's warm in here. Ticket office. There's a ticket office. That means that you gotta buy tickets. There's a gift shop. If you look in here. Alright. It's open for another hour and 20 minutes. I think you gotta go over here, right? Oh. Uh, I don't see anything. It could be. What's that? That's a speedway tour. That's what this is. Oh, is it? I don't think so. That's like going around on the track. Yeah. There's no uh, museum though, maybe. Let's look in the gift shop. This is it? It's not much to it. I thought it said like Motorsports Hall of Fame or something. Let's see what they have in here. Your shirts from the event. Sorry. There's really only a few turns in the infield. Yeah. There's a the left turn, a right turn, a right turn, a left turn. For the most part, they're turning left. They're scarves, those would be good. Daytona 500 shirts, when is the, is that in a couple weeks? 
Yeah. You got a lot of dates. They're getting all ready for that. I'm sure that's the biggest event. I like their logo. I don't know what all those flags mean. Seat cushion. People used to have these when we went to the races. Comfortable. When you sit on the bench. Shot classes, mugs. Who's that? Kyle Larson? Do you watch the NASCAR? Not really. Look at this guy. Do you know that guy? This looks old. Who's that guy? Wendell Scott? This is he looks like he's like angry or he's pooping or something. <laughs> right. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's go eat. Alright. Ken. Kyle Larson, they got a lot of shirts for him. No one does. Put mine on. It's warm anyway. Comes in handy on days like this. Oh, you can see the race over there. You can see who's winning. You probably will. See who's winning. The 48 still winning. All right, we got tickets to the Hall of Fame. They're five dollars each with our admission to the race today. Not bad. Let's see. Motorsport Hall of Fame. It's a pretty appropriate place to have it at at Daytona. Here's a drag drag car. Who are these people? Famous drivers. Drag racing people, not drag show people. <laughs> oh, this is all. This isn't just NASCAR. It's yeah, this is everything. This is cool. What is this? A truck? Cool. How's it going? Hey, good. Y'all got tickets? Yeah, he he has some. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't, I ain't worried about it. If you say you got them, I'll take work. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, really? Oh, we're there. With 276 miles per hour. Was this when they were doing this? 1935. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. There's a plane up there. Here's a old Le Mans style car. Hudson Hornet. Jaguar XJR. 500. Wall of winners. Here's the wall of winners. Richard Petty. Most recent ones. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna look around here for a little bit and then get some food. Be back with you guys in a bit. All right, we're in the little square now. The Daytona Hotel, it's not gonna be this desolate in two weeks when the race is going on. We're gonna go to P.F. Chang's for lunch today. Dinner. For dinner, Liner. And then we're gonna try to get back over to the track in time to see the rocket launch down at Cape Canaveral. It's about an hour and a half from now. So yeah, it's pretty dead here, so I don't think we'll have to wait. It's also 4.30. I don't think a lot of people eat at this time, so get some food get warm. All right, so we got our food in preparation of me going to Thailand next week. We got some pad thai and some ginger tea. He's using his chopsticks like he's supposed to. All right. That's cool. Oh, well, look, he's got, you can see the engine and everything. Oh, wow. I don't think it's stock. It's got a, it must be really fast. It's got a supercharger on it. Yeah. As if it wasn't. I guess they weren't that fast, right? No, they weren't. This is probably really fast. <laughs> They're cool looking cars. So we finished with our dinner. We're going back over. We missed the rocket launch because there was no rocket launch. It got delayed because it's too cold. And we were watching the race on the TV and a bunch of the cars keep crashing they keep going into the wall going off the track I think it's hard when it's so cold for them to get the heat into their tires but we're heading back over now until we're too cold and then we're gonna call it a night we'll watch the rest of it tomorrow morning I didn't see what that I didn't see that where are the sweets do they have them? We'll see how much longer we last over there. I think 45 minutes, an hour, but we wanted to see some of the racing under the lights. No rocket launch, too cold for the rockets, too cold for SpaceX. It's gonna be in two days, I think they said, so. We'll enjoy the last of the the racing for the day and then head back to St. Augustine. Alright, we made it back. We're walking out. You can see the cars under the lights. Oh, they look cool.
go. You think you can see the track? All right, that's it for us. We're going home. It's cold. We saw six hours. We'll watch the rest on TV when we get home. It was cool, but it was too cold. The palm trees aren't happy today. That's for sure. But I'll see you guys in the next video in Thailand. Goodbye. It's cool. It's just bad 9.30. Yeah. <laughs> This thing's probably worth about $200,000. It's nice. What year do you think this is? Like a... Uh, 90 something? No, it's probably like an 89, 90. Yeah. Look at the, it's got carbon graphite on the front. I like the lights. They're very iconic. It's got some modifications on it. It's yeah, it has new. a carbon fiber. Yeah. It's got racing, must race. That's cool. The steering wheel's taken out. Yeah, so you can't steal. Cool.